package inbound. Many times I, I talk about all the things that, you know, us spouses try. And I started noticing, I mean, I had called them my, like, multiple personalities. I'd even named them. And the more I've started working with spouses, the more I've realized that these aren't strictly my personalities that I do. Um, they're actually very, very common. And I'm going to share with you, you know, each of them and, and their names and, and what they do. But what I ended up realizing was everything that I was trying, all these different things I was doing, it was just self-sabotaging. It was doing nothing more than creating more problems. You know, I kept saying, I'm trying everything I can. I'm trying everything I can. Well, all of these things that I was trying were, were just, they were doomed from the beginning, you know, that they were, it was a self-sabotage. Now, out of these different personalities, and I've been, I've done a lot of these too. The first one is one I like to call Mother Mary. Okay, this, this woman treats her husband like a three-year-old. I mean, makes every decision for him. It's cold outside, honey. You better put a coat on, you know? <laughs> that, that is Mother Mary. Now, with PTSD, you know, there is an element that you have to take care of them because they do forget things. You have to help them with appointments. You have to help them, you know, uh, schedule, make it to appointments. Remember to do this. Remember to do that because... With PTSD and TBI, there is a memory issue, but we're, we're not talking about the help that you do as a caregiver. We're talking about the women who take it to extremes, you know. These women, and me included, have decided, basically, that our husbands cannot make decisions for themselves, okay? They just can't. We have to do it for them, okay? We, we have to. They'll never survive without us. That's Mother Mary. Now, usually... The sister that comes along with Mother Mary, not always, but normally, is Nagging Nancy. The way that us women justify this nag to us is what we call necessary advice giving. Okay? Th that's what we call it. Ladies, let me tell you something. Being called a nag is not a good thing. Okay? It's not. Never. We may think it's necessary, they don't. In St. Irene, these are the June Cleavers of the world, okay? <laughs> I mean, they cook, they clean, they keep the house spotless, they make the bed every day, they take their kids to school, you know, take them to all their extracurricular activities. They live for their husband, you know, the... They want their husbands to be happy. They want them to be worry-free and stress-free. And so they keep doing these things over and over again. Their thinking, though, is that one day, almost miraculously, their husband's going to all of a sudden notice all the hard work and effort that they've put in and realize how lucky of a man they are to have this woman as a wife, okay? <laughs> Honey, I got news for you. If he ain't noticed yet... He ain't going to notice, okay? He's not. It's never going to happen. But yet, we'll keep trying. That is insane, Irene. Sacrificing Susan. This is the woman that under no circumstances will she ever say anything that contradicts or conflicts with what another person wants, especially whenever it comes to their husbands. These are the women that her and her husband have rented movies. In the last 10 movies that they have seen, she has now seen every Rambo, every Terminator, and making her way through The Fast and the Furious. These women do not say anything. They don't speak up for themselves at all. They don't say, hey, hon, I'd like to see the notebook. When they go to dinner, the conversation usually, usually goes something like, what would you like for dinner tonight, hon? And he says, well, I don't care. What do you want? She's like, whatever you want is fine with me. And he says, okay, let's go to the pizza place. Even though she's sitting there thinking, you know, my God, I've been to the pizza parlor the last 20 times, but I'm not going to say anything. I mean, <laughs> this is sacrificing Susan. She will continue to sacrifice her wants, her needs, her desires. So she does not upset the other because she thinks it's selfish. <laughs> 